Hey YouTube, T-Town Pipe Man here. Hope everybody's having a great Friday night. I know I am. I'm just relaxing. Was watching some YouTube and thought, uh, man, let's let's have a pipe, relax. You know, I'm a new pipe smoker, and one of the things I'm trying to do as a new pipe smoker is develop my palate to where I can pick out all these different types and, and qualities of tobacco, Virginia's, Burley's, Perique's. And one thing that I have had a little bit of trouble with is Perique's. And um, I don't know if this is common or if it's just me, but uh, I just, I have a little bit of trouble getting a blend and, and tasting it and just know, oh, this, this has got Perique in it. Um, so, what I've done is I, I've smoked some vapors before, but I haven't had very many that had a, a decent amount of Perique in them. I've had Orlick Golden Sliced, which is, uh, I think, pretty low with the Perique, a low level of Perique. And I've had uh, Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake, which might have a little more than... Um, than uh, Orlick, but uh, but still, you know, I feel like I'm looking for something with a little more, like I'd like the Perique to just jump out and say, here I am, you know. Uh, you know, and then I can decide, like, how do I really feel about this Perique thing? And where do I like my level of Perique in a vapor blend or in other, any other blend? Uh, so, so what I did was I went out and got the benchmark of vapors is what I mean this is a tobacco that a lot of people consider the benchmark for vapors um, and so for the tin opening today I present Escudo Navy Deluxe All right. and so here I've never tried this one before and I got a brand new tin you know it was the only I think there's a brick and mortar here in town uh, that actually had two different varieties of tin tobacco. So it was this one and another one. They had a Escudo and some other some other variety. I but I decided to get the Escudo. So I will. Uh, open this up and uh, see what we think. Yeah, you hear that air sucking into that vacuum. a coin. These are coins. And, mm, that's very different. Mm. Yeah, so with the tin note, I'm getting this fruity, musky kind of smell. Yeah, almost like, uh, almost like a prune, a prune or raisins, not exactly a raisin, I've, I've, I've smelled some blends that smell just like, just like a raisin brand, but no, this is a little more, a little more fruity and musky than that. Yeah, it smells good. And the, uh, the displays, it's, it's very good. They have these coins and just in this perfect little spiral there. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. That's what they look like. 
Yeah, so it looks like these will uh, rub out to uh, just like a, a really fine ribbon, even maybe more of a, uh, yeah, just a really fine ribbon. Even maybe more, it might even rub down to more of a shag. So I'm gonna get a couple of these. You know, I'm really starting to uh, just really enjoy all the different blends that are offered in pipe tobacco. I feel really blessed to have this hobby that is such a wealth of different flavors. I can't imagine being one of those pipe smokers that just smokes the same blend every time like they did in the old days. A lot of the fun I have in this is the variety. And I'm going to go ahead and just rub these all the way out. Get them in a ball in my hand. Just, yeah. Just like that. And they, it rubbed out like extremely easily that way. I'm really quite surprised. Out of the can, it's a little bit moist. I'm going to have to give it about 10 minutes to dry out. I'm going to have to give it a little while. But it's a little more moist than I would than I would like to smoke it at. But while we wait, I I got a box this week. Now, I'm not doing a yabo, but I will go over some of the stuff that I got in this box. Uh, one thing it was I got I ordered from the pipe nook, and one thing that I ordered was that I'm very happy with. This pipe tamper, this is a Rattray's pipe tamper, and it's got this little uh, the uh, a little concave, the the end of its concave there, which I'm kind of whatever about, but. I will say this is the second pipe tamper I've ordered from the pipe nook. The last one was a Savinelli. And it was about the same price, but the Savinelli just felt so cheap. Like a toy. Like like you could get this out of one of those old coin machines. You put a quarter in it and turn it. Like you would get it out of those machines. It felt so cheap. But this thing is heavy. It feels like quality. It looks nice. It feels nice. The the Savinelli one was. It looked nice, um, but is so cheaply made and did not feel like quality at all. But this one is really nice. The Rattrays. I highly suggest if you're looking for a good tamper that that feels good in your hand, has a little bit of weight to it. I'm very happy with this one got the uh, your little scraper that screws out you know it's pretty cool so I feel much better about using this while I'm smoking my pipe than and the money I spent on this and I feel much better about that than that Savinelli one you know sometimes I have a love-hate relationship with Savinelli you know, I think they have some great pipes, uh, but every once in a while they just do something I really don't agree with. That that tamper really kind of 
soured me a little bit to the Savinelli, the boys at Savinelli. So if y'all are listening, come on, step, step up your game with the pipe tampers. Anyways, yeah, and out, and what I'll be smoking the Escudo out of is the Friday Savinelli. Yeah, so. Uh, what else did I get in that box? Also in that box, I did it. I pulled the trigger, and I got the Peterson lighter. Yep, I did it. And it is, you know, uh, it feels every bit of as quality as it should be for the money that I spent on it. And so I'm very happy with it. It's the brown, which uh, I couldn't tell in the pictures, but the brown isn't just a solid brown. It's like wood grain brown, which I don't think you'll be able to see in the video very much. Um, but it is like a, a dark brown wood grain. Not actual wood, but that, that uh, kind of pattern. And yeah, I mean, it hadn't, it's been good so far. I've, I think I've used it once to smoke. And uh, so yeah, anyways, I ordered those from the Pipe Nook. If, uh, if there's ever a product that I'm looking for and I have, and they have it at the Pipe Nook, I'm gonna order it from the Pipe Nook. Um, I just enjoy Eddie's uh, YouTube channel how cool he is with people you know he always like signs the receipts as thanks and uh and signs his name on the receipts and that's just it's really cool to have that uh put a really put a face to the to the company that you're buying from and feel feel good if you're supporting somebody uh, you know and getting the things that you want at a good price which is cool Anyways, if y'all haven't checked out his YouTube channel, I highly suggest doing that over at the Pipe Nook. And, uh, yeah, what else did I get? I got a tin of Pegasus, which I've never had Pegasus, but I hear a lot about it. So I was like, well, let's get me a tin of that. And then I got a tin of Shanae's Cake from C&D, I believe. And Shanae's Cake is part of their seller series. So uh, I went ahead and got it and uh, I put it down in my, in the cellar. I'm cellaring it. I'm going to give it at least a year or so, I think, to, uh, to mature before I crack that tin. Maybe, maybe longer. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and load this up now. So yeah, in that box I got, I got the tamper, I've got the lighter, I got the the tin of Pegasus and a tin of Shanae's cake. And man, it was uh, so it was a, it was a fun box to get. All right, here we go. Load her up. Oh, and I also got, and I'm smoking this with a, uh, a six millimeter charcoal filter that I got in that same box. And so I'm like super happy with those. Um, I've used them a couple times now, trying them out, and I'm so glad I was able to get those. And that I can finally use my six millimeter filtered pipes with a charcoal filter super happy about it. Mm. And I don't find that it restricts the draw too much. I mean, how, like, if you're sipping on your tobacco, you know, how much draw do you really need? You, I don't really need it, like, 
completely wide open. I want a little bit of resistance. Uh, but yeah, let's give it up. Let's let's get the char line going. Tasty that that's a tasty char light. Those Virginias already I feel like they're like much higher quality Virginias than I am used to. is wonderful. The blend just melds together wonderfully. I'd say better than than a lot of the blends that I've tried. While I, I taste and smell since the Virginias, I, I can tell there's something else there. But honestly, nothing is like jumping out at me like, here I am, Perique. One thing I have associated with Perique is the, I don't know what it's called, but when you uh, bring the smoke in through your mouth and let it out through your nose. There's a little spice through the nose. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. I tell you what, I just love these six millimeter charcoal filters. Like, man, it feels like Christmas. Like, like I had this dream of being able to have a nine millimeter filter in my six millimeter pipes, and I feel like that dream is like come true. And like, it's just made me appreciate my my six millimeter pipes so much more now. And I'll just be, I know I'll be reaching for them more often. Hmm. 
That's good. So yeah, here I am, I'm having a, some Escudo. As far as vapors go, man, I think this has probably gotta be, just from what you've seen here, I think this is probably gonna end up being one of my favorite, one of my favorite, if not my favorite vapor. I've had the, uh, the still could be uh, luxury bullseye flake I really like that one um, it's a bulk and it comes in the same coin form um, and it's a vapor um, I really enjoy that one um, I think if there's been one one blend where I taste it and can tell like yeah oh yeah there's some perique in there it's that one um, I'd say even maybe more so than with the Escudo, but this is a better blend overall, I think. I think just the quality of the tobacco in Escudo is just much higher than than the Stokeby Bullseye Flake, Luxury Bullseye. But that they're both great blends. Uh, the Bullseye Flake is a, is a great blend, um, and I'm definitely going to be keeping it around, but I think... A little fruity there. Good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, so there you have it. My first impressions tin opening of a Scudo. And uh, I have to say, right now, it's sitting at like four and a half out of five stars because uh, I want to leave room for improvement. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Thanks you f thank you for watching, guys. If you're still around, this is ended up being a 20-minute video. I just, I guess, like, I just want to sit down and have a bowl and bring y'all along with me. And uh, if y'all want to come along with me, that's great. So, uh, Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, if y'all have any uh, recommendations as to blends I could try that will just hit me in the face with Parikh, like almost be too much to, uh, to help me uh, get my palate acquainted with Parikh in a more, in a, in a better way, just uh, drop them in the comments below, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll just end up buying straight Perique and smoking a bowl of Perique. I mean, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Uh, T-Town Piper. Y'all have a good one. Bye.